the Golden Miller Novices Chase is next. And look for the card to call for this one. It's a two and a half mile grade one for Novices. And I totally got Irish Agent for Leon Van Rensburg. The best is yet to come for Joshua Sutherland. He's also got the Witch King, Wayward Jester, or Leon Van Rensburg on a four-timer world stage, David Hooley. Dazzling Sue, John Morgan, Flying Chance, David Hooley, Nutty Bun, Craig Beckwith, and Ocean of Lecker for Darren Thompson. Field of nine, then. And away they go. The Ocean of Lecker, just about the first to show. They've got 16 fences to take in this. And they get to the first of them. And they're all so familiar with the David Hooley pair just at the back. The pace is not all that hot at the moment. An Irish agent has crept through into the lead. So Irish agent then has taken it up. And leads into the second, which they all get over nicely. That's about four or five of them in a line for second. And then three of them in a line for joint last. So... Very tightly grouped field, with the exception of the leader, Irish Agent, who's got a three length lead on the rest of them. Stableweight Wayward Jester is now into second. Dazzling Sue is third. That's obviously not one of those John Morgan front runners. He might be sort of a dropping off the pace horse. It was the back nutty bun, is now the back marker. And they will safely have a number three. With Irish Agent leading by three to four lengths, the Oceans of Lecker. And why would Jester and Dazzling suit? And the leader's gone a crashing fall there. Didn't look like he was actually gonna fall. He hit it really hard. That's a strange looking fall. I've never seen the animation look quite like that before. That was quite weird. The Ocean of Lecker has been left in the lead then as Irish Agent falls. And Dazzling Sue has moved through in a second as they come into the fifth. Which they all get over. Dazzling Sue then is in the lead. This will be the final fence next time round. Maybe this one will. <laughs> it's dazzling Sue in the lead. No, that one will be the last on the next circuit. I'll figure out which course we're on because these we don't actually split the days up the way that they do in a real children festival because they have it for four days, don't they? We only have it over three, so that's why we end up with the bumper starting off day two rather than ending day ending day two as it would do normally I think but it's Nutty Bun in the lead as they get over the seventh and joined by Flying Chance Dazzling Sue's on the inside in third then World Stage is fourth Wayward Jester is next as they take the water which they all get over nicely the Witch King is just the back marker at this stage and it's Flying Chance why would Jester dispute the leaders they get to this ditch? Over it they all go. And why would Jester? Oh, he normally lead, leads at this point of the race, but he's put himself into the lead. And chucked that one really nicely. Nutty Bun made a bit of a mistake at the back. And why would Jester now being held on to by the jockey? Doesn't want to let him go for home too soon. There's still the best part of a mile to go and a heap of jumping to do. And why would Jester? Over this next one, just slightly out jump there by the best is yet to come. And Witch King, who's crept into it on the inside. Ocean of Lecker on the outside. Dazzling Sue between those two. Then come David Hooley's two together. World Stage and Flying Chance. Nutty Bun is going to try and slip up the inside. Seems to have got himself back together again after that mistake. But it's the best is yet to come and Wayward Jester. Who dispute the lead as they come down to the next. The fourth from home. And over that they go. And Wayward Jester and the best is yet to come. The field are beginning to bunch up behind the world stage. The Witch King, Dazzling Sue, Ocean of Lecker, Nutty Bun looking for a gap. Flying Chance trying to come round the outside. They're all still in with a chance. They take the third from home. Mistake at the back by Ocean of Lecker. But it's Wayward Jester and the best is yet to come from Flying Chance and World Stage. Then the Witch King, Flying Chance going round the outside now to dispute the lead with Wayward Jester as they come down towards the final three fields. They'll swing towards home. They've got 
two more fences to take in the straight and it's flying chance in the purple jacket closest to us wayward jester in the blue over on the far side the best is yet to come chasing them in third as they come to the second last and over that one flying chance jumps it really well got away from it well wayward jester's gone with him and these two are well clear as they come down to the final fence he's going to come down to the jump i think and a really good leap by flying chance and flying chance has got a couple of lengths clear wayward jester in the favorite he's trying to fight back but wayward jester not going to met there i don't think he's going to be flying chance who's holding on there's still half a furlong to go flying chance is beginning to tie wayward jester is wearing him down flying chance needs the line here comes wayward jester flying chance just wayward jester second and wayward jester looked like it for a while he was gonna reel that leader in but flying chance just kept sticking his neck out and it's hung on oh no it hasn't oh well well that is a surprise that has completely thrown me there what well that is just absolutely crazy because i'm telling you now i've commentated on these races for seven years and flying chance won that and according to that card why would jesters won it by five and a half lengths that is just absolutely ridiculous now i've been back and i've looked at that race three or four times on the actual race it's pretty clear to me that David Hooley's horse in the purple jacket has passed the post slightly in the lead. If you look at the replay, when it shows you the little bit of the replay at the end, it is a completely different thing, and on that replay, Leon van Rensburg's horse has won. So, somebody tell me what's going on there, and why does the card say that it's won by five and a half lengths? That is absolutely crazy. I know the angles are a bit funny, and I thought maybe in the race I'd not quite noticed it, and I just assumed that David Hooley's horse had hung on, but I'm telling you now, everybody, you go back and you watch that on a slow, a slow motion as you can get, or click it on frame by frame, but watch the the end of the race, and then watch the, the bit that's shown as the action replay, and it is not the same, it is absolutely not the same, I guarantee it.